We all love our indoor plants. They bring colour, texture and really liven up our living spaces. And they make us feel good too. But sometimes they're a threat when they escape outdoors and that's when they become a weed. Today, I'm going to show you how you can manage your indoor plants so they don't run rampant in our gardens or spoil the delicate ecosystems of our bush. So, what is a weed? That's the perennial question. And the answer, it depends. For instance, a native of South Africa, like the spider plant, is perfectly suited to its home but in Australia, where it thrives, it spreads wildly and suffocates bushland natives. Plus, they are tough and really hard to get rid of. Spider plants are therefore classified as environmental weeds, but there are many more indoor plants that also threaten our native bushland if we let them slip outside. We love to grow environmental weeds like these. It's because they look great, they also grow in a range of light and soil conditions, and they're really hardy survivors. My own collection includes Tradescantia, Syngonium, Ficus elastica, the snake plant, and Devil's Ivy. All these plants can negatively impact the biodiversity of our bushland and urban habitats. They overwhelm our plants, taking away resources from our natives and animals. I want us to keep enjoying our indoor weeds and at the same time looking after our outdoor habitats. So I have some practical tips for us all. First, let's stop them spreading. We often take cuttings or prune our lovely weeds, putting the leftovers straight into the bin or onto the compost, which is how they spread. My advice is if you have offcuts, seal them in a bag before disposal. Or fill a bucket with water and immerse the leftovers for a couple of months before composting. This is what can happen when plants escape. This is my little dumping ground where I throw potting mix, discarded trimmings and prunings into the garden. Obviously this trad has escaped and now it's found itself a new home. And now I'm gonna have to take the time to remove it from the garden before it smothers the rest of my plants. Because Australia is so big, our natives from one region can be environmental weeds in another. Take the Queensland classic umbrella plant. As an indoor plant, it needs to be carefully controlled because outdoors, it can grow to 10 metres, spreading its seeds and swamping our native ecosystem. Many of us have one in a pot, so my advice is to prune the roots and the shoots to keep it small and also remove the flowers so the seeds don't spread. I've been thinking about alternatives we could all use, and they're not necessarily natives. However, they're far less hazardous to our environment if they do slip outside and that's because they're slower growing. For instance, cordylines, Zanzibar gem, and Kentia palms. These are slow growing and need minimal care. And kangaroo vine is a lovely dense trailer, native to New South Wales and Queensland, and is great in a hanging basket. So we can all do our bit by keeping our houseplants where we like them best, indoors. Mm -hmm.